in the previous video we have seen how to solve the problem of general transverse electromagnetic wave guide now in this video we are going to apply the steps of uh, the solution for transverse electromagnetic mode in a waveguide for the case of parallel plate waveguide in parallel plate waveguide we are assuming we have two barrel conducting plane these two barrel conducting plane are extending in x direction to its w and extending in z direction to infinity and they are separated by distance d and the dielectric material or the material between the two plates has dielectric constant epsilon uh, uh, dielectric material of epsilon and mu as we said in the previous video the first step in analyzing tm mode in web guides we are going to solve laplace equation laplace equation is nabla t squared phi of x y equals zero where nabla t squared is the derivative with respect to x squared plus the derivative with respect to y squared okay Uh, in the present case, the boundary condition is that the potential at the lower plane, the potential at any point at x, while y equals zero, is zero, which represents the potential at the lower plane equals zero, and the potential at the upper plane equal v naught. So, this is Laplace equation. And these are boundary conditions. From the geometry of the structure, we are going to assume that the potential in this case is independent on x, such that it is constant in x and is varying only in y. So, nabla square here, partial by partial x squared plus partial by partial y squared, the derivative with respect to x would be zero so this would be effectively partial squared by partial y squared y equals zero now by integrating these ones would be a constant and integrating it once again we can obtain phi as a constant a plus another constant b multiplied by y so the obtained function or the general function for the potential in this case is a plus b y now by applying the boundary condition at y equals zero by setting y equals zero is the potential equals zero so in this case phi at x and zero equal a plus zero would equal zero so the value of a is zero on the other hand the potential at x equal d i uh, sorry at uh, y equal d equal v naught so by multiplied by d equal v naught or in other words b equal v naught over d so the solution of the potential phi as a function of x and y in this case would be v naught over d multiplied by y. v naught over d is b and actually a is zero. So the potential phi as a function of x and y would be v naught y over is independent on x and depending linearly on y. Now we have the potential. From the potential, we can say that the transverse electric field E equals minus grad phi. And grad here is partial by partial x in x direction plus partial by partial y in y direction. And because the function here is independent on x, the derivative with respect to x would be zero. 
So the derivative with respect to y is v naught over d, and we have minus, so minus v naught over d in y direction. So this is the electric field inside the barrel plate with guide. The total electric field in terms of x, y, and z would be the transverse smooth multiplied by the propagation constant e to the power minus j beta z and where beta here is k. So the total electric field would be minus y v naught over d e to the power minus j k z where k equals omega square root mu x. Now the magnetic field, the corresponding magnetic field it would be h multiplied by e to the power minus j k z where h is given by 1 over z t m which is eta square root mu over epsilon z cross e so in this case z cross minus y is x So the magnetic field would be in x direction, in positive x direction. Its value it would be v naught over eta d multiplied by e to the power minus j k z, where eta is the square root mu over x. And the longitudinal field components e z and h z are zero. Okay. These are field components in the barrel plate we've got. Now, from the field components in the barrel plate with guide, we can obtain the potential between the two plates, which is already V0, and the electric current on the plate. The electric current on the plate, we are going to assume a closed loop around one conductor, and by applying H dot DL on this closed loop, we can obtain the corresponding current. So, the potential difference V it would be the integration minus the integration from Y equals 0 to D EY DY and we have here the electric field EY and the mass of integration is DY from conductor 1 to conductor 2 in this case this minus plus multiplied by this minus would be plus v naught over d multiplied by y where the limits of y from 0 to d so d over d would be eliminated it would be the potential at any point inside the barrel bit of y to be v naught multiplied by e to the power minus j is it on the other hand, the current along any plate would be the integration of the surface current Gs dot Z, Z is the incompletion direction, multiplied by dx. And Gs here is the current surface current density. And the surface current density is obtained from the boundary condition of the magnetic field as minus y cross the h dot dz. So from the tangential magnetic field, we obtain the current along the strip. From the boundary condition of the magnetic field, we could obtain the current on the strip. So, the current G is equal minus the normal, which is minus Y, cross the magnetic field H. This is the current surface. And this part from this current surface, the component which is in the longitudinal direction Z. So, dot z to obtain the longitudinal component of the current.
once again this is equation the self is current equal minus n cross h on the conducting blade and this surface current it can be either in x or z direction we are interested only on the longitudinal direction here so to obtain the longitudinal direction should be dot z so we have the longitudinal component of the current set now minus y cross x is effectively z z dot z equal 1 so this component of this multiplication is actually v naught over eta d multiplied by e to the power minus j k z dx and effectively everything here is constant with respect to x so the integration could be this quantity multiplied by x where x is from 0 to w the width of the strip or the variable blade which means that is w multiplied by v naught over eta d e to the power j minus j k z this is a voltage and this is a current by dividing v over i we can obtain the corresponding characteristic impedance so z naught is v over i would be v naught e to the power minus j k z over w v naught e to the power minus j k z eta d so the characteristic impedance in this case is eta d over w should be noted here eta is the wave impedance but eta d over w is the characteristic impedance the wave impedance is the relation between the electric and magnetic field the characteristic impedance is the relation between the electric potential and electric current on the other hand the phase velocity of the wave could be omega over beta and beta here is k so it is omega square root mu epsilon so it is 1 over square root mu epsilon which is the phase velocity of light inside this dielectric medium this actually is the solution of the barrel plate waveguide for the TEM mode this is the electric field it is in y direction and it is constant in y direction this is a magnetic field it is in x direction here is the electric field in negative y direction the magnetic field in positive x direction the relation between the electric and magnetic field E over H equal theta which is the square root mu over epsilon and the corresponding voltage and corresponding current is given by this such that the characteristic impedance of the barrel blade waveguide is eta d over w and the phase velocity is the same as the phase velocity of the dielectric medium and it should be noted here the phase velocity is independent on the frequency which means that there is no dispersion in the case of TEM mode for barrel blade waveguide. Alright? Okay.